Hi everyone, welcome back to Keeping Up with the Chaldeans. We're here with uh, Junior, my co-host, uh, Janelle Yeldu, Natalia, forgot your last name Salem. already. Salem. <laughs> and uh, Father John. Uh, we're here to uh, talk about your new Chaldean collective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we got some of it, right? Uh, thanks for joining us, you guys. Uh, this is a good cause, and all of you uh, donate your time to, uh, uh, one donates his life to uh, <laughs> the greater good. And I get guys... more in return. So. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about the Chaldean Collective. Who wants to kick it off? So um, Natalia and I, we started off with a smaller social committee through St. George Chaldean Church. Mm -hmm. um, and recently we've been in the works of you know, wanting to take it up on a bigger scale. Um, we're still continuing to do uh, the committee at St. George. Uh, we've been in contact with Father Andrew, and um, we've been communicating with the diocese, and um, we decided, okay, let's just go for it. Father Andrew really wanted somebody to collaborate with him with his Vineyard of Mercy project, which is an amazing project going on behind Holy Martyrs. He's doing great things. Um, and we plan to collaborate with Shenandoah. Um, and the whole point is we're unifying the diocese. Right. We want to bring all of the parishes together. We want the East to know the West, you know, you know, Chaldeans from this area, talk to people from this area, be one community mm -hmm. um, and build each other up. So um, we plan to do that through a lot of events coming up. Yep. Now let's talk about how you're going to do that. You say you plan on doing it through events, but so how? So um, let's give an example. Let's say us at St. George, we wanted to have an event such as last year we did um, the Winter Gala. A lot of people would think, oh, well, it's a St. George thing. You know, I'm at St. Thomas. Maybe, you know, I don't want to go all the way out there. Or maybe it's just limited to that parish. Mm -hmm. We want to erase that mentality or okay. that thought at all and just kind of unify everybody together. And a diocese-wide organization such as ours, um, you know, should be able to accomplish that. Good for you. Just one little example of that. They did a promo video for an event that they have coming up. And I saw them go to every single parish and uh, get I like, got uh, a clip from each priest of that parish. Oh, cool! So it's a really cool thing that they're working really hard to uh, to unify even our priests. How many different parishes are in this? So plan? we our diocese has a total of ten parishes. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to work with all ten. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be not anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're still inclusive. <laughs> um, so we didn't get to go to the, all 10 churches. Mm -hmm. um, but we got to go to St. George, Holy Martyrs, St. Joseph, St. Thomas, Mother of God, um, which was So what great. are the other five? So the other five, we have Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Mm -hmm. We have Sacred Heart. Um, we have one in uh, really far away. Uh, in Grand, Flint, in Grand, Grand Blanc, Blanc St. Yeah. Paul. There's mm -hmm. Mar Ede with Abuna Stefan, yep. yeah. the OG, the legend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and two in Chicago as well, uh, St. Ephraim and Mark Mariam. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we're kind of yeah. keeping it like the ones in, uh, in Michigan just because yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. we can't really have Logistics. events out. Yeah. And we actually really want to have an event yeah. in Chicago, yeah, if though. We can, <laughs> if we can go. have one out that in Chicago, you know, yeah, we might have to do that. <laughs> it was kind of a conversation just yesterday. <laughs> so, so, so some of our viewers right now that are watching this interview might go, Ah, here we go. Another church, another thing with this again. Where do we? Where is this all leading to? Who's going to do what? Right? What? What they they don't understand. What some don't understand, and I'd say primarily the newer generation because they didn't grow up with the older generation to see how much we're diehard Chaldeans. Right? It's evolved. You know, we've inherited some of the stuff in this country, which changes your um, mentality and ideology. What we did was we created Keeping Up with the Chaldeans to keep this uniform, keep the community going. You created Chaldean Collective. Why Why did you even start this? What was the point of it, and where are you going to go with it? So, so I want to reference um, the verse on our logo. Oh, yeah. um, this verse, it sums it all up for me. Um, it's Ephesians 4.16, and it basically says that um, the whole verse is, from him, the whole body, um, basically saying, 
they're all the supporting ligaments, mm -hmm. which is us. We are the supporting ligaments. Sure. Um, and it says it builds and grows in love. And every part does its work. Mm -hmm. So in that verse, it's our church, you know, our church, Jesus. He's the whole body. We are the parts. In order to fulfill that, mm -hmm. we have to do our work. We can't just depend, well, our church needs to do this for the, this for us and this for us. No, we, we are the church. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I feel like we need to encourage people to wake up and acknowledge, I am the church. She is the church. He is the church. Mm -hmm. Well, how do I do my work? And um, we're, really, we're really encouraging people to do that because it doesn't always happen in the walls of our churches. Yeah. We can encounter Christ and help someone else encounter Christ through a conversation, through mm -hmm. a smile, mm -hmm. through one gesture of love. Yep. So um, that that verse really ties in why we're doing this. Yep. Amen. Yeah. Yep. Amen. That's good. Right. I saw we, that we, amen. Yeah, we, by the way. <laughs> good. we all go through our day to day, and we all yeah. do different things. We're all in different industries, but yep. the one thing we all have in common is the church and, mm -hmm. and, and Jesus and Christ. Jesus Christ. So. Yep. Yep. And, 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 uh, that's that's a big thing. Is um, you you giving the why of what you do? You know what I'm saying? The the the, the, the why we're making it happen. Life's cyclical, right? When we were growing up, we were having all of these festivals and going back to your statement, we only had two or three churches growing up here. You know, when we first came on board, 80s and 90s, um, you had Southfield, you had Oak Park, you had Seven and Woodward. Um, mm -hmm. And I think then the east side finally started rolling through with some of theirs out. But in the meantime, we only had three. To make a mark on your statement was we didn't care if there was an event at seven of woodward we'd be there if mm -hmm. we want to do the stations of the cross we would visit all three to do them on a friday you know what i mean we would yeah. bounce through them it's become larger we've um separated as chaldeans where we're at so we need people like you um be, because we we're losing our identity mm -hmm. okay doesn't matter just in church us as chaldeans we are losing our identity because we're inheriting what this country is giving us. So mm -hmm. right. you change. I give a lot of commendment to your side of the um, of, of our of our state where you're at in um, the East churches, because you guys are primarily culture. You guys dig plus realty. Check them out. Jim Mana, Salim Gasso, with over 30 years of experience and over 30 agents and brokers to be able to help you out, servicing the southeastern part of Michigan and throughout Michigan itself. Check them out today. Level Plus Realty, Jim Mann and Salim Gasso. You can call 248-970-7500 to get in touch with them. How do you get people to come on board with this? How do you recruit people and what else do you guys do besides just say events? What else? Well, I mean, our, our whole committee com is consisting of a couple of people from almost every parish. Beautiful. So, um, you know, it was our hope that if we have let's say a couple of people from Mother of God, a couple of people from St. George, mm -hmm. you know, St. Thomas, et cetera, that we could, um, you know, reach different, you know, people in the community, expand this network and say, hey guys, if you want to get involved, if you want to, you know, come out and support, you know, this is what we're doing and like, we'd love to have you. Is there a website? Is there a Facebook page? Is there a... Yeah, we have we an join? Instagram. Um, for those that are interested in following, check us out at the Chaldean Collective um, on Instagram. We don't have a Facebook page just yet, but um, you know we're just kind of like getting it all. Yeah, yeah. Our yeah. socials started. We're working um, on actually just getting on the diocese website oh, and yes. just having that available to everyone who mm -hmm. can look up the you. Chaldean Diocese. That's yeah. cool. Good for you. And your main messages mm -hmm. that you guys promote. What is what's the message behind you guys? Like you like we were talking earlier. What's your mission statement? What what is it that, collect you know, Chaldean Collective is about? You know, it's about unifying, serving our diocese, preserving our heritage and our culture, and evangelizing. You know, so at the end of the day, just bringing people to church, bringing people to Christ, as mm -hmm. Janelle said, maybe not just in the church walls. Maybe it's at a fundraiser. You know, maybe yep. it's at a bonfire. Maybe it's you know, hanging out at a, a friend's house who maybe is on this committee. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, that's that's a big thing. So support, you'll always need support. You'll always need us to give you a hand in, in doing things and putting things together. Yeah. Now, young man, how'd you get on this whole team? Uh, what do you have, what part are you, you know, playing in it? I just, I'm uh, just blessed to be a priest, uh, to see these amazing young women really working for the church and, and for the community. I mean, I love it. Um, I'm not part of their committee, but 
Their first event is Black Friday. I'm sure they're going to talk more about that. Mm -hmm. um, and it is to support an amazing um, a mission at Sacred Heart Church on 13 Mile and DeQuinder. Mm -hmm. In the back of the church, there's an, a huge gym, a basketball court uh, that's been running uh, pre-COVID, the past two, three years. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, men's basketball league, uh, Chaldean uh, youth, high school boys and girls and middle school boys basketball leagues, and we've got kids playing there all the time. Uh, built a fitness center, yep. and we're trying to expand upstairs. There's a, there's a spot where... Um, if you guys can follow Chaldean Collective, they're going to show you pictures of what we're trying to do. We want to build a student lounge where kids can go there and study and hang out, whether it's before or after they play basketball. Uh, so that's what the, uh, the first event is going to support and fundraise for. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out as well is a lot of people think, you know, if, I, if I'm in church, it just has to be in the church. Mm -hmm. But as Janelle was saying, we are the church, and, and Jesus says where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there. Uh, so when these boys, uh, when these high school girls are playing basketball, and there's this big cross in the gym, they know that they're part of the church. Mm -hmm. And what I see in our youth and our young people especially is that the church is becoming less relevant in their lives. Right. So especially with our young men and our boys, um, they love basketball. They love sports. I love sports. They, they should see a priest that loves sports. My brothers play football. I, I'm a big Spartan fan. You know, Lions, it is what it is. But um, so we, I mean, my, personally, I want to bring souls to Christ. I, I want our kids especially to know that Jesus is that firm foundation in their lives. And when they have Christ, they can get through anything. Uh, and basketball is a part of that. And um, there's so much that we can learn. A, a lot of us have played organized sports, mm -hmm. and we've learned a lot through that. So uh, that's the mission. So, so a few weeks ago, I had first met you. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were at an event together. Um, it was a political event, so we'll leave it to the side. But what we, we're at we're at that together. We just visited because it was a Catholic-related one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, after you asked me to come to this uh, to this uh, center that you run, Trump 2020. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you didn't see him during this <laughs> moment. But um, so you took me in. Well, that's actually. I would love to plug. Actually, we can okay. still plug. Um, okay. uh, the diocese has done a, a good job uh, seeking to form consciences. So if you do want to um, check out the diocese's Facebook and watch the videos that. Bishop Francis has done with a panel mm -hmm. uh, just to form your conscience on um, on where we should be at in terms of how we should vote. Definitely do that. Yep, yep. Now, now uh, on that, I want to I want to plug you for the work you did and threw me back because when I left out of there, I was um, scrambling to figure out how do I get this guy money right now. Let's do this. Let's get the you know father some stuff so we can get the the, the community center up to par. So. I didn't understand um, what 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 we go through as a community until we started losing so many community members to opiates, right? You start the, the youth going out like that. So they had no, a lot of them didn't have a place to turn to. Some did, but then again, it wasn't neutral, okay? Mm -hmm. You need sometimes that neutral perspective. You need that getaway. So when I came in there that day, you showed me there was all Chaldean guys, kids playing basketball. The fitness center was up there. Then you had the top level. Well, when I left out of there, I said to myself, you know, two years ago, the chief of police in my town said something to me. He said, your community is inheriting the filth of this of, of this um, community out here. They're, they're inheriting it. You're taking that filth away. By you putting that youth group together, by you giving them an opportunity, I never understood it. We always used to see it with the African-American community. You saw it with the YMCA and so forth, the Jewish community. We didn't think it was necessary because we had our houses with the basketball courts and everybody was over either at Anthony's mm -hmm. or they were at it, you know, and so forth. Martin Mana's house, you know, these are all playing basketball. Now it's needed. We don't have these courts like we used to. We're not getting together like we used to before because we've separated so much more diverse. You need help upstairs. That Black Friday is going to be of help. Mm -hmm. Tell the viewers what they need to do, not want to do, what they need to do to get you guys going. So talk about the Black Friday event. So, Can I stop you guys there? Yeah. I'm being rude. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, but no. just to piggyback off that, yep. I asked myself, how can we get our, our young men back to church, mm -hmm. uh, especially our high school boys? Yep. What is going to influence them? What is going to attract them? And sometimes it's like maybe they won't go, on, go to Sunday Mass. And I, I pray that they do, but maybe they won't. But 
they're going to go to a basketball court. They're going to play basketball with a big cross up there. And they're going to be surrounded around leaders and their coaches that do follow the faith and live the faith. So just that attraction of, look, the church cares about me. The church is seeking to provide a service that is attractive to me, but then is not, uh, there's no sin in it. It's basketball. Let's play. Let's have fun. Um, so showing that the church is not just uh, quiet prayer and, and can also be something engaging and fun uh, is important for young people. So that's and part of the not mission. Not everybody had a Canterbury court growing up. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 13 in Dequinder, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a perfect area for uh, the kids that we're serving. And it's, it's not just, some of us have lost a little touch yeah, with, with it at times, you know, as, as adults. So, so let's, let's t talk about this Black Friday event. So what we need from the community, what we need from everybody is just to show up, just support. Um, this event specifically is going to be on Black Friday. It's going to be a really fun party. What um, is Black Friday for us that don't shop? It's going to be uh, Friday the 27th, so okay. the day after Thanksgiving. Yep. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a really cool DJ, a lot of cool um, prizes to DJ? raffle off. Uh, DJ Jimmy Flawless. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you know what's funny is like I just realized this now. I think like half of the people supporting have all been on this show. Okay. So we have we have Amir Bally from the Bally team as oh, our yeah. diamond sponsor. Boss, man. We have Georgian Jr. from Powerhouse oh, who yes. are donating raffles. Yes. And then we got DJ Jimmy Flawless. I mean, I think we should <laughs> rename it to the Keeping Up with the Cal Cal the Ball. <laughs> sponsor team, huh? Honestly, the sponsor just, team. Yes. We'll be there Throw too. Throw the rest of them yeah. on there. We'll, be there well too. Yeah. instead of doing that, continue the flow then. Mm -hmm. That's all you're doing. Take our flow, roll with it, keep the flow going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it so then the next people that run into you and go, holy cow, this is all from the Chaldean Collective crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like we've got it all from there and then you're going to know where, and this is all it is. It's a river mm -hmm. effect happening. So what yeah. times the events start? So it starts at 8 p.m. It's at the Lafayette Grand in Pontiac. So it's kind of like a middle point um, for our community. You know, if mm -hmm. you're far west or you're far east, you know, it's like 20, 25 minutes each way. It's a really cool venue, um, beautiful, has like this really nice Gatsby look for those who haven't been there. Um, Is that downtown Pontiac? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's on um, Lafayette Avenue. Right off of the highway, which is nice. Right yeah. Off what, yeah. What's the event going to entail? Like what? what's... What, what are they going to expect when they come there? Um, so they'll, you know, they'll pay for a ticket ahead of time. It's $75 per person. Um, and it'll include like a full buffet and then, you know, um, like the full party with some entertainment from um, DJ, DJ Jimmy Flawless, as I mm -hmm. mentioned. And then uh, we're going to have Zephat Joseph there as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah Any guest speakers? <coughs> yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> I, I plan to pressure Any, you to um, be there and maybe say a few words. Yeah, yeah <laughs> man, Chris talk a lot, though, as you can tell. You know, yeah. That's okay. That's what's, the attire for the, what's the attire for Cocktail the Cocktail attire. Cocktail attire. Um, yeah, yeah, we like to go out and dress nice here and there. We haven't gotten to do that in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And we know you guys are practicing social distancing, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make sure course. all that's in full effect. Good look nice at a distance. Yes. 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 <laughs> so how big is the venue, do we know? Oh, it's hand. very yeah, big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Um, like Penis big capacity. or Shenandoah big? <laughs> so it has four Shenandoah. floors, and every floor has its own unique... Um, is like, this the old Wait, is this the old cut car? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. It's actually... Um, it's, a fa it's family owned. Uh, the owners there are amazing. And yeah. um, we've thrown an event there before, actually. Um, and he has four different floors, and every single floor has its own specific layout. So we this year we picked one on the second floor. It's a huge open floor. Um, it's got balconies, and it has a second floor. Sweet. Yeah, um, a really nice like patio, like slash terrace. Is yeah. Is a, do, do, do we do cash bars at these? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cash bar. And we're also <laughs> doing. Um, we're taking. We've already started, even though um, we haven't even put our flyer out yet. We have tables um, selling out. So oh, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, what about tables. sponsorships? Do you need um, people out there so the viewers can know if you need them to sponsor yeah, the event? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we still are in need of sponsorship. Um, if, Where can they find that? Um, you know what? They can reach out to us via um, our Instagram. Just send us a message if you have any interest in sponsoring or mm -hmm. just donating at all. Um, mm -hmm. Anything at all is appreciated. Cool, cool. 
And um, time wise, what is eight to what? Is it just eight till the question mark? Well, you like, know, Kelvin. That's so what I'm saying. Yeah. To, you know, we so your eight say becomes eight nine, and nine becomes until one. Yeah. It's until <laughs> it's it's from eight until you hear bye bye bye. bye, bye, bye <laughs> but bye, even bye, that bye, doesn't bye. work anymore. Yeah, so, right. yeah. 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 So it's like they're still hanging out. Nobody wants to go home. Yeah. Yeah. This whole COVID thing ran everybody down. They want that extra little yeah. bit of love and fun. Right. Well, good. So on on top of that day to day. What can you have the viewers help you guys out with day to day? Because we know Black Friday is going to be this big event. It's going to give you that first push out, you know, out the gate. But seven days a week, come on, I mean, you're going to need funding. You're going to need help. You're, where, mm -hmm. where does that all come from and what, what do you need help with? So a lot of it's going to be um, just talk about it with your friends and family. You know, if you're if you see your friends or cousins after mass, you know, say, hey, like, did you hear about this Chaldean Collective? Um, you know, this is kind of like what they're about talk to you know your people about it share a page um, come out when we have events it's it's really important to us that everybody within our community plays a part mm -hmm. um, our a big part of our mission is you know um, separate ligaments in the same body doing its work so um, we look at like not just each parish being those ligaments but every single member of our community as well so um, we, we just put a lot of emphasis on, like, we all have to, you know, show up, support each other, and, you know, and the do support, what we And the support goes way far beyond a donation check. Mm -hmm. Right. It's more so, um, again, like, being, being that support, every single one of us, like, we are all blessed with some type of gift. Sure. Yeah. Every single person serves some type of purpose in the big picture mm -hmm. and a lot of it goes like unknown mm -hmm. and just being involved we're able to identify hey you're really good at this like yeah. you are you actually have a gift for this you can you can be a part of our next thing you know one of our events may be on mental health another one may be on something else and maybe one of them are a social worker or somebody mm -hmm. just who's super knowledgeable about something like very specific they can play a huge part. It's, you know, it's not even just about the donations. It's about, like, what service can you offer? What, right. you know, what are you talented with? What's right. your gifts? And bring it forward. Right. So you have the Black Friday event. Do you have, can you share other ideas that you have for other future events? Or is that, is this too early for all that? We have some things in Just mind. little ideas. Yeah. Um, another priest has approached us with, with another idea. Um, but we do want to actually touch on mental health in one of our mm -hmm. upcoming mm -hmm. events. Um, it's something Father Andrew has been working on to uh, incorporating art with mental health. Okay. Um, that we are, you know, cooking something up. Well, your 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 opportunities are endless. Oh, there's yeah. so there's so oh, many yeah. segments. You mm -hmm. can do that. You can do the segment of our poor. You can do it our segment to the handicap. You can you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So right. you guys have a lot of angles. So it's gonna be mm -hmm. exciting to see what's gonna be coming up in the next twelve months from you. Mm -hmm. How how um how young is this company? Or well, organization it's I should been, say. It's been yeah. in the works um for about like a year and a half, me and her have been wow. talking about it, yeah. okay. actually. Mm -hmm. um, just over quarantine mm -hmm. is when we're like, let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let's go right. for yeah. it. And like, it was meeting it after meeting after meeting and yep. done. Yeah. And this is not, you guys have regular everyday jobs, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so this is <laughs> yep. this is something that you're working out of, uh, working towards uh, out of the goodness of your heart and in some spare time. So you need as much help as you can get, right? Yeah. Right. From mm -hmm. a church standpoint, there's nothing else like this. Um, the diocese has never come together from all the parishes coming together with all different priest involvement and leader involvement um, as one for a social slash um, communal type thing. Um, how do you so, think that is? I think it's really their push and our buying into to them as people mm -hmm. but and trusting them. Like we don't have to like watch are they doing something wrong or whatever it may be. And we trust them and and uh, the mission is right. It's yeah. good. Let's bring people together and, and that's Christ. That's so Jesus. So you're you're um you're solidifying the group. And the way you're solidifying the group is you're our first priest that we've oh, had on, on our on our show. Yeah, no, we've had advances. We have Tom to Amy. We have Jeff Kassab. We've had the guys out there. If I'm not mistaken, he's our first priest. Me. I forgot. You got ordained <laughs> recently. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. 
You separated two things, right? <laughs> no, we all <laughs> it, look, it became one in this. I'm gonna be theological real quick, okay? <laughs> we all share in the common common priesthood of Jesus Christ. So yes, we are all priest, prophet, and king. So, yep. Thank yep. You. but you're putting the stamp on it, which is huge, especially for the for these two young ladies to come in. It feels good when um, you get you know you get the the priest to back you up, because at the end of the day, of day a lot of times. I hate to say, you guys, your hands are tied behind your back. You can't make certain moves you'd like to because you go from being your standard citizen, ordinary guy who can go be politics, scream, yell, cuss, do whatever, to the 180 flip. So so yeah. being with them, this is huge. You, you know, you give them that. And being on our show, we thank you for coming oh, on. Because like I said, you're, you're our first base. But I had that enjoying moment with enjoying enjoyed that moment with you up there. And I'm really looking forward for that community center. You know, you, you if you see it, you would be in awe. Like he's, anyone who sees it, yeah. is like we have this. The church, <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. What is going on here? Yeah, we can't wait so. to post. No, you guys. When I, when he took me there, I when he, I was like, I was riding over there, and I'm like, man, I just worked a full day, and I came over here, and <laughs> he was real though. He, <laughs> yeah, I was like, he wants to take me, and I'm thinking, okay. So it's like I'm ready to call Anthony when I leave and say, hey, we got to do a keeping up with the Chaldeans of uh, a thing over here, at, you know, at, at the church. And, I'd and love to have you guys there. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about it. it. Then Please. I said, then I said to okay. myself. We're calling him because, let me tell you, he asked you about you guys having a job. We have jobs too, but hold, I wouldn't say holy cow. If, <laughs> if, 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 if he gets on my tail, so he, he lights the fire to keep this moving. I, I realized after so long how important mm. that is as keeping up with the Chaldeans to the community. Absolutely. You guys have to realize how important you're going to be once this starts picking up steam. You're going to mm-hmm. see, you're going to have people calling you, reaching out to you. Everybody's going to want to possibly get a hand, and I, but mm-hmm. then you're going to have to make a decision mm-hmm. and say, how does this align with our program, Absolutely. like he does with me? So right. we're glad to have you on. Um, if there's something we can do, Anthony, if you want to ever see that rec center he's got and check oh, yeah, out, we're gonna, we'll do we, a show we, we can get sure. on and give you guys a hand, you know, but... We hope you guys do live on the uh, Black Friday. Go Facebook Live or Instagram Live. That'd be mm-hmm. sweet. You yeah. guys can do the event. People want to see, so they want to know what they missed out on while they sat right. at home. Well, they're not going to miss out because they're all going to be oh, yes. there. Yes. Everybody's exactly. going. Yes. <laughs> no questions yes. asked. And even if you even if you don't know if you can make it or not, buy a ticket anyway. Yeah, just donate. Mm-hmm. Help them go. It's a great cause that they got going on. Yeah. Is, is there stuff that we didn't touch up on on your 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 group, your organization? Is there stuff at the church that we didn't touch on that you guys want to let the viewers know? Um, I just want to put it out there that we're open to hear the community too. If anybody knows of any charities, of any causes, even like a family who needs help, we are completely open to hear it and completely open to supporting. It's not exclusive. It's not limited. Mm-hmm. What's beautiful about it is it's limitless to where we can help. So, so. You, t- you touched on charities, I think, before we started rolling. And mm-hmm. touch on it again just so that, we're, that everyone's clear about what you're, what you're actually trying to do as far as helping charities and, and the charities actually contacting you. Well, we're open to hearing... Um, even if somebody within our community just knows of one, all they have to do is present it and say, hey, this is what this charity does. Mm-hmm. Um, this is how it can help. And bringing people together to support it would be a great idea. We had somebody like talk to us the other day yeah. about an idea of how to fundraise. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and she she's a generous vendor. She's going to be helping us out. Um, mm-hmm. Her name is Diana, and she's with Breathtaking Blooms. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's going to be um, helping us out with a lot of the floral decor, um, which is going to be super nice. But, you know, her and a friend of hers um, that also owns a business, they, you know, said to us, hey, um, is there a way that we could do some sort of fundraising event with you, you know, ran through a couple ideas with us. So, I mean, if there are um, people out there who have any ideas that say like, you know, I think this could be great. I want people to hear about it. I think mm-hmm. it's a cause many people would care about. Yeah, we absolutely are open to hearing it. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Now with your busy lives, and I know you you have some help with your committee, but how often do you want to have an event? Um, I mean, it just kind of depends on uh, what it is, but if we could have one, I don't know, I think like every, every few yeah, months. Yeah, every few months. Okay. Every yeah. couple of months and depends. Um, some on are the larger scale, sales. like our Black Friday party, for example. Um, we wouldn't want to plan something like that a month apart, you know, yeah. if we had to. Right. We don't plan to be that extra all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be extra. <laughs> no, listen, the first one will out with the bang. It's the launch. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be it. It's gonna be yeah. the best. It's going to be awesome. Um, our don't first one, we're definitely going to come out with a bang. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but what she means we're not going to be extra like that every single time. Yeah. Right, we're we're right. gonna they're gonna vary a little bit um, sure. from event to event. But once you get that first one to pop off, oh my gosh, you have no idea. You're gonna get the the rapport that man, it was so great. Mm -hmm. We did our um, Zhao June event. Uh, beginning of the year oh, yeah. we for what we expected it doubled up the amount that we expected but then it was like can you guys do another one can you guys oh. do another one yeah and then once COVID kicked in it kind of slowed things down for everything but then we did the the barbecue one and then I mean, it would be cool if we ever piggybacked off each other. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we would love that. that. We, we, we may be having, a, like we said earlier on our thing, we're doing a Chaldean Eat, so we may have a Dolma competition. You guys might arrive with us on that. So, you got to keep me in the loop yeah, on that. Dolma and Yepra. Maybe a taste. Yeah, yeah. Some taste Dolma. testers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm hungry already. Right. I know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Sahara, we might visit you after here. So, yeah. <laughs> but but um, you so so that's in regards to the viewers' note. That's the stuff that you guys will be doing. Mm -hmm. We can piggyback on events and anything. Yeah, right. Okay, sure. cool, cool. Yeah. So, so we um usually before we and we touched on everything, so we're good mm -hmm. with that. But we do have um one thing that, and we're gonna have to ask each and every one of you is a question that Anthony has that he gives to each interviewee, and we want to hear what you guys have to say. So the question is, what does it mean to you to be Chaldean? Ooh. We'll start with you. We'll, we'll start with the let's start with the ladies first, because oh, you say okay. you're the wow. most long-winded wow. like me, so we'll wait till wow. the end. So, what it means for me to be Chaldean, I bring it down to we have awesome faith. Um, I consider myself part of this huge family filled with tradition, culture, um, the, just the love. Mm -hmm. For me, it just means to be part of a strong rock mm -hmm. which is great cool yeah and you young lady for me mm -hmm. um kind of piggybacking off what janelle says it it is such a large community for me i think if i wasn't chaldean i wouldn't have these traditions we wouldn't have this heritage i feel like our community is so strong even those you know we've been talking about we're all kind of spread out a little bit we're still strong we still show up for each other and I see in a lot of other communities, they, they don't have that. And, you know, my non Chaldean friends, I explain to them, like, you know, this is what we do and this is how we are. And, you know, I, I brag a little bit about yeah. it. <laughs> you know, I, there's no other yeah. word for it, but it makes me so happy. And I cannot wait to have, like, children of my own to be able to experience what I experienced as a child yeah. and growing up. Beautiful. Cool. Father John? Uh, it's just a blessing. I think that's like the, the word that's sticking out for me. Um, I remember going to seminary and I, uh, I spent six years preparing to be a priest and all and discerning, thinking about it. And uh, we had like 120 guys with like 10 Chaldeans. And it was us 10 Chaldeans that we'd have meals together, we'd stuck together. And it was actually then that I really felt like being Chaldean is the most special, beautiful thing. Um, being in our church, I do feel like our church gives us the identity um, and the unity that we all starve for, we're all yearning for. Um, and, when, and I feel like when we get away from the faith and when we get into like materialism and, and just money, I think we can segregate and say, okay, where can I make money? Versus like the church really uniting us as a people. And I felt that in seminary where I felt like our, our, my brother priests are really united. Um, so it's where I experience love. It's where I experience like the joy of living. Um, and I'm blessed to be Chaldean. Beautiful. We thank you. Awesome. There you have it, folks. You got an answer from three people pretty much aligning with the same. These three are working diligently to keep the faith going in our community and with um, Chaldean Collective and with Father John doing the community center along with uh, helping a lot of the churches on the east side. It seems like it's all going to be coming to fruition. We can't wait. We want to... Um, you know, wish you the best success with your Friday kickoff on that Black Friday for the event. Um, you definitely will have us. I mean, you got me there. I know AT, depending if he's babysitting or not, but I'm gonna be busy that day. Yeah, so that's, a, <laughs> that's we'll leave we'll leave it at that. That's a little inside joke, but um, it, it, we'll, we'll be there to support you. We'll help promote, push, make sure people are out there for you. It doesn't stop there, so the people know we want to make sure your community center comes to life Thank up you. top. We want that social room for the young um, generation. We thank you guys for doing this because you're going to carry the weight of our name further. That's, yep. a, that's a big thing. Like they say, you bear the cross, right? So the name could be considered like a cross, and you carry it with you wherever you go. So we want to thank you. 
And if there's anything you want to let the viewers know before we take off, um, I think I, we're going to pretty much wrap up. AT, you got anything you want to? Just uh, go follow the Chaldean Collective yep. on Instagram. We look yep. forward to meeting more people yep. in the community. Yeah. Be ready for the big half of the Black Friday. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. much, guys. We're That's super it. excited. We are too. So before we take off, make sure you guys subscribe to Keeping Up with the Chaldeans right at the lower bottom. If you look at the YouTube page, make sure you hit like. So make sure you guys subscribe. <laughs> we're on Spotify, <laughs> iTunes, YouTube. Facebook and all social medias. Make sure you share their message. This is huge. And then if you get a chance, go visit, you know, Father John at the Community Center. Play a little hoop, see what it's all about, and see what he's got going on. From Anthony, myself, to these three group right here that's beautifully doing the job of Christ, we're signing off and keeping up with Kelly. Bye-bye. God bless. Yep.